Okay, so today we are going to start out by talking about color and contrast. Uh, to start color, we need the three primary colors because they are the basis for everything else. That is red, blue, and yellow. If we go over to our notes, we can see we have this lovely color wheel here. Um, I skipped ahead a little bit. And we can fill in this triad of colors. They make a triangle going around the color wheel. So if I go over here, I can see I have these three circles. So I want to change those, so I'm going to click on the object, I'm going to double click on the text, maybe, there we go, uh, double click on the text and change it to the correct let names, and yellow, oh, well, it is yellow. Uh, and then if I click back on there, I can even go up here to the fill color and I can change that to the actual colors that they are supposed to be. And yellow. All right, and those are my primary colors on the color wheel. If I go back over to my notes, I can see that once I've got the primaries, I can mix the secondary colors. So red and blue is going to make purple. Blue and yellow is going to make green, and red and yellow is going to make orange. So on the color wheel, they're going to fit in between those colors. So the orange goes in between the red and the yellow that are used to create it. So if I go over here, this guy is going to be my orange. This guy over here is going to be my purple. And this lovely lady down here is going to be my green. And again, I can click on the shapes, change the fill color so that it is the correct colors going around my lovely color wheel. Ta-da! And then I could take these arrows over here and drag them, drag them. If you ever make a mistake, don't freak out. Uh, just Control Z will undo. I know the words are gonna be upside down, but that's the primary color. I can take my secondary colors. I know that one's a secondary color. I know that one's a secondary color, and I know that that one is a secondary color. And this one, I don't need, it's extra. Okay, so that's all lovely and labeled. Now we're ready for these color schemes down here at the bottom. So we're gonna go back to our notes. We're gonna talk about uh, properties of color. This is the slide that should have been in the value presentation, but apparently it's out of order, so yay. As we know, color plus black is going to be a shade, and color plus white is going to be a tint. So we can move past that one. Uh, a color scheme is just a planned group of colors. It's a way of organizing a work of art. Sometimes artists choose to use the natural colors. Sometimes they choose to use their own color scheme. There are a couple of fairly um, common color schemes that artists will use for different effects. The first one is monochromatic, shades and tints of one color. Um, so that's when you did the background to your winter landscape last year with Miss Zinc. Um, those would be shades and tints of one color, that blue that you guys did. Um, on here, you can see it says monochromatic color scheme. So again, I'm going to click these items. I'm going to pick one of my colors. This time I'm going to do red, and I'm just going to change it to be all the different shades in my lovely row here. And now I am making a monochromatic color scheme. Ta-da! It's okay that I repeated one. The second one, and the one that's gonna be important for our current project, is called complementary color scheme. And this is when you choose colors that are opposite each other on the color wheel. So the pairs are down here. Red and green is a pair. Blue and orange is a pair, and purple and yellow is a pair. Um, if we come back over here, you can see red is opposite green, purple is opposite yellow, orange is opposite blue. So when we fill in these ones, we can just fill it in with the color. If you'd like to rewrite the name, feel free. But at this point, you've already written it once before, so I trust that you remember which is which. Um, and we said the pair of blue is orange. The pair of red is green, and the pair of yellow is purple, also known as purple. All right, and that is our whole thing for color. Um, so we're going to hop down to contrast here, go back over here. Blue, 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 blue. Oh, I went 
running past it. Come back. Contrast, where are you? This is why I should have things put together already. All right, so we've got contrast down here. This just means when you have a variety of lines, shapes, colors, textures, or other works of art. Um, you use them to add interest to your piece, and you want to think about opposites. So it's not just, I'm going to use one type of wiggly line, and then I'm going to use another type of wiggly line. You want to think about two opposite things. I'm going to use complementary color pairs, because those colors are literally across the color wheel from it. They are literally opposites. So if I come over here, it asks me to sort these for based on what all of these words are. So big versus little, is that going to be comparing size, color, shape, or placement? It's going to be size, right? Red versus green, that's that complementary color pair we talked about. White versus black, those are going to be comparing neutral colors, the color of value, really. Um, circle versus a blob is going to be comparing geometric shapes to freeform shapes. Um, a silhouette versus a box, that's going to be shapes again. Tall versus short is going to be size. High versus low is going to be placement. Front versus back is also going to be placement. So that's where all of your contrast would fit in. And those are the notes for today.